And the final question is from students at St. Jean's School and it's to do with access to healthcare. This is by far the issue that I hear most of when I'm talking to Islanders and with good reason. A lot of people are really struggling to access healthcare and there are two fundamental things that we have to do in order to fix that. The first thing is to change the way that we manage the system because for far too long politicians like myself have had too active a role in making decisions when it comes to healthcare. We have experts in the field, we have frontline healthcare workers, we have health PEI, whose job it is to administer and provide services. But unfortunately, we have politicians who are always meddling in that. And we have had resignations for decades now of good people in our system because the politicians are meddling, making decisions which will suit them politically rather than making decisions that are going to build the best public healthcare system we could possibly have for all Islanders. So that's the first thing. Let's get politics out, polit political meddling out of the system. The second thing we have to do is to, is to attract healthcare workers because almost any problem you can think of in the healthcare situation is related to a lack of frontline healthcare workers. So we must attract new workers, but we most fundamentally have to keep the workers that we have. We, as you would well know from the stories in the media, we are losing doctors and nurses and nurse practitioners hand over fist. And part of the reason for that is that we don't value and respect them enough. So a huge part of our platform is in increasing wages for those healthcare workers that we currently have to try and make sure that we keep them here because those experienced healthcare workers are so valuable to the system. So a 15% pay raise for all frontline healthcare workers, all of them, not just some of them as, as Premier King did a little while ago and was such a divisive and discriminatory thing to do that created havoc in our healthcare system and really difficult relations within healthcare workers. We would provide a large wage increase for all frontline healthcare workers in order to maintain the ones we have. And we have to work really, really, really hard to attract more healthcare workers so that you and your families and your grandparents all have access to the best healthcare we possibly can give them here on PEI.